Hello boys and girls, this is Mr. O, and this is Mr. O Eats, the noodles that nobody wanted. Now, I think you should pretty much know the concept by now. Uh, there was a little bit of a shortage of instant noodles in the supermarkets in Hong Kong, and uh, I decided to have a try of the noodles that nobody seemed to want, the ones that were left behind on the shelves. Uh, I've tried uh, weird flavors, gross flavors. I tried a set of, of dry noodles. I've tried some extremely hot and spicy noodles. Uh, but the first one uh, that I started out with was one that I thought would be pretty disgusting. And it's this one. The dull cheese flavored instant noodles. And I've been kind of teasing that one ever since. Let's have a quick look to see how that went. And now uh, this was a few months ago and uh, I hadn't had a haircut at that time because the hairdressers were all closed. Anyway, just don't think about the hair, just focus on the noodles, okay? Let's see what these are like. So first of all, the smell is absolutely awful. Oh, it's like the worst kind of artificial nacho cheese sauce. That kind of, You know what, I'm speaking, I'm not even breathing through my nose right now. All right, let's try. Actually tastes okay. Not too bad. I mean, it tastes like normal Nissin noodles with just a little hint of cheese. Genuinely not too bad. I'm gonna finish these. I'm really surprised, I thought I would hate these. So for all of that sort of time and effort, it was a, a little bit of a anti-climax. So I thought I would bring together the best of weird, gross, and difficult to eat instant noodles. And I went out and I bought two more packs. Let's have a look at them now. So right here we have got the Nissin Company Chili Cheese Chicken Flavor Instant Noodle Stir Noodle. These look like they're gonna be very hot and very gross. This is the Samyang Hot Chicken Stir Ramen Cheese Flavor. I've got a feeling that these two might be quite a nice, you know, way to finish off the, uh, the Weird Noodle series of videos. So let's give them a shot. Today, I'm gonna try this one. All right, here we go. So what strikes me immediately about these noodles, uh, first of all, is that I don't really feel like you get very many. It was kind of small in, in, in the pack, I would say, about that big. Um, they also already smell a little bit cheesy, which is, you know, could be a sign of things to come. Whoa. Right, that is the cheese. That is the cheese powder. It's, oh, it's kind of, bright luminous orange and it really stinks like the worst parmesan cheese powder you've ever smelt in your life mixed in with a little bit of somebody's nasty cheesy feet or something nevertheless we're doing this properly so it all goes oh my goodness it all goes in but look at that i don't even know if that's orange or pink oh dear then I'm guessing this is where the chicken and the spicy is. Let's put all this in, so a lot of this. This is really awful smelling. I mean, this is quite, I think this, this is far and away the most revolting smelling noodles of all of them that I've eaten so far. And in fact, in my life. I'm really not looking forward to eating this at all. It's not too spicy, but that smell is hard to tolerate. All right, well, I finished it after just five mouthfuls. As I said, it was quite small. 
to be honest, that's that's a kind of a blessing. It's not particularly. I mean, it is. It's definitely spicy, but it's not. I don't know. It's not good spicy. Um, I mean, that is just the most revolting smelling thing I've ever eaten in my life. I don't know why anyone, anyone would willingly eat this, except for myself, I suppose. But apart from me doing a YouTube thing, I don't know why anybody would eat this. The color is the worst sort of salmon pinky orange 1970s bathroom paint kind of color it's completely opaque um i i think that this has got absolutely no redeeming features whatsoever well it's got one redeeming feature which is that it's quite small and it doesn't last very long um i was only able to eat it by not breathing through my nose at the same time and maybe you can hear that i'm still trying not to breathe through my nose <sighs> it's a new day as you can tell by the fact that I have a new shirt on and uh, it's time for me to try to erase the memory of the Nissin chili cheese noodles from my mind and from my palate we have got our famous chicken uh, difficult to see whether the chicken is wearing a bikini but uh, we can I mean maybe there's a little looks like there's a string there uh, and one sock. I think we add this in. Maybe stir it for 30 seconds or something. I don't know. Here comes the pasty stuff. Wow. Okay. That's pretty nice. Very nice and savory. Quite umami, you might say. Four. Oh, yuck! <laughs> wow, there's already a bit of a cheesy smell in this and I haven't even put the cheese powder in yet. All right, on goes the cheese powder. Ooh. All of it, because we do things properly. You know, apart from the absolutely dire smell, these are not too bad. The the um, the 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 spiciness, the chili, overpowers the the cheese. So that the the cheese is the cheese is kind of like a guest at the table rather than the um, the host. Let's just say um, these are a lot more palatable than the Nissin ones. Absolutely. So here we are at the end of this uh, ridiculous little investigation. Um, I mean, you know, if you've watched this far, you will know that the uh, Doll Company cheese flavor noodles are by far the best. Uh, they're actually quite edible and they taste fine. Uh, they don't smell great, but they, they taste all right, which, you know, is true of a lot of cheeses. Um, the Samyang noodles are uh, definitely in second place. Um, extremely spicy, uh, but and, and they smell awful, but they tasted all right. And the noodles were nice and thick and, and, and chewy and, and good. So uh, if you like your spicy stuff, uh, then I, I think that you would like this. By far the worst noodles that I have eaten in this whole time and as I have said before, probably in my life, are these ones. The Nissin Company Chili Cheese Chicken Flavor Instant Noodle Stir Noodle. These are absolutely awful, 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 awful in every way. If you wanna do some sort of a new like ice bucket challenge thing, this will be it because they are really, really gross. Two final things to say. Number one, don't eat instant noodles all the time. As I said before, they are a treat. Number two, which is kind of a contradiction to number one, uh, is don't waste food. These noodles were unwanted, but 
you know, seeing as I've eaten them and turned them into some sort of video, I suppose they were not wasted and I won't waste the other ones in the packet. I'm going to give them away to my students as presents. <laughs> Little do they know. But really, try only to buy the things that you need. Do your best to finish things up and, and try not to, to waste food. Um, it is uh, a precious resource, even even this one in its own kind of way.